Hey guys, hi, how are you? It feels so good to be back. It's been about a month since I published my last video uh, for a couple of reasons. One is me and my wife went on a much needed vacation to Europe and also I got sick right after I came back. So it was just a cold, but I didn't feel that good to shoot a video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about parking an electric vehicle long-term, in this case, a Tesla Model Y. It was only 11 days, but it's gonna give you a good idea of what it's like to park an electric vehicle and leave it unattended, um, how much battery does it burn, uh, leaving Sentry on versus off. And I'm also gonna talk about full self-driving. I canceled my subscription, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Today is one of those days that I get to do something special or something unique. Um, in the nature of an electric car, which is I'm gonna leave the car unattended for 11 days. Me and my wife, we're gonna go on a trip um, to Europe. So we're gonna go from San Diego to LAX. We're gonna park the car for 11 days. It's gonna be unattended and then we're just gonna be gone. And this morning when I woke up, it said that it had 138 miles of range and my destination LAX is 108 miles. So knowing the real world mileage that I get out of this car, I know that I wouldn't have been able to make it with 138 miles of range for that distance, 108 miles. So let alone um, parking it for 11 days, because as we know, unlike any gas engine car, when you park this car, it still consumes energy. So um, it's, it's, this is one of those days that I wish I had a home charger because now I get to waste for about an hour of my time while I could be doing other things like packing just to come and charge the car because I need to park it with enough um, cushion to be able to leave it there for 11 hours and not, uh, 11 days and not be worried about running it dry because if it does I may be damaging the battery and I, I just don't want to be in that scenario so right now I've been here for a few minutes already and it says it's 40 minutes remaining so it's just time that I'll never get back I wish I wish I had a home charger suspensive and uh, so today I still have some uh, free miles from the referral codes that you have been so generous to submit for my account so I'm first gonna burn those um, free miles and then I'm seriously considered getting a, a home charger because it's such a convenience right now I have 40 minutes with nothing to do I'm probably gonna go do some cardio while this car charges I'll let you know about it We're on our way to the airport right now. The range says that it's 266 miles and we're about 100 miles away. So we should get there with around maybe, oh, maybe like 120, 120 miles worth of range. And we're gonna park it for 11 days. Um, just as a trial, I'm gonna park it and I'm gonna leave it on sentry mode for the first night, just to see how much more energy it consumes while parked. Because remember, I say, as an electric car, it still consumes energy regardless whether it's parking or moving. It's always consuming energy, unlike a gas engine car. So this morning was kind of long because I had to go charge it first for about 45 minutes to get to maximum capacity. And I just got tired of waiting and I, I left it at, at about 90 something percent. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a surprise to find out that the car considers to be full at 290 miles. And that's only about 6,500 miles from new so the range keeps diminishing the last time i checked it it was for the 5,000 mile video that i made and i'm leaving you the link to it right here so you can check it out and i had said that full it was 296 miles and now it's 290 miles to a full battery so from what i've heard at first it kind of the, the capacity drops and the first few thousand miles and then it kind of uh, finds a spot so let's hope it does because the range keeps getting uh, shorter and shorter um, we're about two hours from the airport because of traffic so sitting in traffic will also will also consume some of the energy uh, on the battery but I we need to we need to get there and we need to leave it with enough battery for it to survive for 11 days park because you have asked before what happens if you just park the car? What happens if the battery runs dry? Well, this is gonna give you a good idea of what happens when you park a car for, for a lot of days. Uh, we have never left the car for that many days at once, and, um, and we're gonna do it. Um, there's no point for me to leave it in sentry mode because we're not gonna leave any values in the car. The car's insured. It's gonna be in a, a park, parking garage that is secure. So if they break into it, a video will not save you from anything. So we're just 
gonna leave it there just to test it out because when we leave it, I think it burns about two to three percent when it stays at our garage, which is a cover. Uh, it's not temperature control garage, but it's it's a pretty cool area, so it doesn't uh, burn a lot of energy either cooling off or warming up or anything like that. So now that we live in an LAX, I think it's gonna be left in similar conditions. And in October, uh, you can beat this weather. We're about 75 degrees. Um, this, this is stellar weather for probably my favorite weather of the year. So it's not gonna consume extra en energy on that. It might consume a lot more every time Centric is activated. And I've had cases before when the battery starts running like below 30%, uh, Sentry deactivates itself. So that's where I am right now. We're 45 minutes away from our destination. And this gives me time to share with you that I think I'm gonna cancel FSD subscription for the next month it's due tomorrow so it's false perfect so for 10 days i don't have to pay it so that's one third of a month and in that case it will be like 65 dollars that i'm gonna spend while my car is parked to not use a feature um i i've been every month i weigh the pros and cons and ha of having it and um you know it's great when i get on the road and like right now we're bumper to bumper and it's great it works it does the job and um and that's when it shines but other than that like in the city or we don't use it too much in the short drives and stuff like that so like the summons feature don't use it the auto park it's not great like i've tried it and it's very clumsy and and usually it doesn't get me into a spot that i couldn't get myself so it, on the contrary sometimes when i get home i, I just try it and it, it just disables it because it's too intricate for the car to park itself so what is the point and the only thing is the navigate on autopilot. That's, that's an amazing feature to have. And like right now we're using it. And yes, I'm in charge of the car, but it's just doing its thing. And I'm just supervising right now. But since I'm not gonna use it for 10 days, uh, what is the point of paying for something? And that's what's great about the subscription versus the actual package, the full self driving package, that you get to pay $10,000 for something that may fade away uh, in the novelty later. With this one, you have that ability to just cancel it. it to me, um, that's that's key because I pay two hundred seventeen dollars every month to have that amazing feature. But like this month, we're not gonna use that much, so I'm gonna cancel it. And then when it comes time, when I come back, we'll see if I if I reactivate it or do I just wing it like that because the basic autopilot is great. Um, and they almost got in a crash right now, so we'll see. We finally arrived in Barcelona last night and uh, we had a long flight. It was 10 hours to London and then we had a layover for about six hours at the airport and because of COVID regulations, they didn't allow us to leave the airport at all. So when I was there, I was just checking my app to see how many miles had I burnt of range just parking at the LAX parking lot and I realized that I burned about 16 miles worth of range in less than 24 hours. I had told you guys that I was gonna leave Sentry activated for at least 24 hours and I just didn't want to risk it because it burned about 16 miles if I remember correctly and I decided to turn it off and as um, last time I checked about, I have about 115 miles worth of range and we still have 10 more days to be here and to leave the Tesla Model Y unattended at the airport back in LA so I just didn't want to run the risk of getting uh, depleted completely to where I wouldn't even know what would happen next um, some of you that have this car and you have left the vehicle unattended for longer please let me know how many days have you been able to leave the car unattended and what would happen i mean in 10 days i know that the um, sentry feature will deactivate itself once you drop below i think it's like 30 percent of battery or something like that um, but i just didn't want to run the risk so i turned it off and i wonder what is going to be the rate of depletion now from now on given that i still have 10 days here in europe at the end, I activated Sentry for a couple of nights, uh, right before, maybe 48 hours, I think. I left it on for two days, and I only had one activation, and it was actually us getting to the car. At 79 miles of range, and it's saying that it's got one Sentry mode report. Let's see what it is. That's it? Oh, is that you? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's my wife. 
when? Right now? Right now. <laughs> in retrospective, I wouldn't leave Sentry on because it was a secure garage. I mean, um, it was pretty safe. We didn't have any valuables, so why leave it on? So we're back from our trip and I already checked the app and I have 81 miles of range. I think when I started, I started at 138. So I lost, what is that? Help me out here with Matt. 38 plus 20. We lost about 58 miles in 11 days. But here's the thing. I only left Sentry for about three days in total. And it was burning about 15 miles a day. So that will be about 5% per day. So I decided to, to shut down Sentry so that I wasn't burning the, uh, the range unnecessarily. And when I'm not using Sentry, it would only burn about a mile worth of range. So, so we're good. So right now we have 80 miles and what's annoying about it is that we have about a 130 mile drive home and we need to go and recharge again. We charge on the way here and then we, ha we have to charge on the way back. And you know, that's one of the things that's annoying about an electric car is that now we have to spend another 20, 30 minutes to make it, to get enough range to make it home. So the good news is that when Sentry is off, it doesn't burn a lot of battery. I mean, it was uh, very safe conditions because it was not overly cold or overly hot. So the vehicle didn't consume any energy to warm it up or to cool it down. So I, I guess I would consider those optimal conditions for storing a vehicle or for leaving a vehicle parked long term. Um, but as far as leaving Sentry on, that did take a toll on the battery. It was about, I, I, I rated it about 5% per day. And um, so I wouldn't do it if it was a uh, long term. If you consider that, that the range of these cars is what, 250 to 280 miles, um, it, you can leave it parked for a very long time, for weeks, even a couple of months, and you'll be safe. But as long as you remember to charge it before you go and park it, because it's gonna continue to burn uh, battery while it's parked. And as far as FSD, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since we've been back and I haven't activated it back. Uh, my wife has had a couple of trips to LA, business trips, and she, she was crying the other day how she misses it so much because it is great to have it, but uh, we're still debating whether we should get it or not. Uh, for now, we're gonna wing it like that. It's, it's $217. We think that at this moment, we're just gonna do the, the autopilot for a while. And if, you know, we start going on a lot more trips, maybe we'll activate it again, who knows? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing for more related content. My name is Juan Carlos. I'll see you next time.